Hello guys, how are you? Um, today we are going to see how to fix our uh, sound problem on my on our PC. Uh, so uh, just to check uh, whether we have a problem or not, we can just see. We can click on here uh, our speaker, then uh, click on the recording device. Uh, then when we come to this page we find this microphone uh, application or device which is a default device for our PC uh, so we, we we have to have this uh, application or this device uh, for our computer to work or to record our uh, voice or our sound so uh, we need to have this one uh, so we can go to the property if it is uh, uh, not adjusted uh, we can adjust it here uh, we just go to uh, level uh, then uh, we have to make sure that this is active not muted uh, like this yeah uh, so we we need to uh, make it active uh, then we can adjust the volume here uh, we just make we can make it hundred uh, if we want to make it. Uh, then uh, we can say it okay. Uh, what if we don't have this uh, application or this device? When we check it uh, from this uh, recording device, uh, some of our PCs we don't have this uh, microphone uh, device so uh, if we don't have this if we uh, make sure that we don't have this uh, device we can just download it from google so uh, to download it uh, you can just write sound driver for pc sound driver for pc then you click it and you search it then uh, you look for this link a real tech high definition audio driver for windows 7 or the link has uh, this uh, supports lenovo.com so you just click on it when you click on it you will find this page as you see so you, when you find this page uh, which has an operating system uh, uh, we're uh, looking for uh, a device for PCs with Windows 7 actually uh, so you find this operation system operating system uh, then you go to download then you click on download so when you click on download you will find this page this uh, security warning uh, then when you find this security warning you just click on run then uh, when you click on run uh, you will find that it will ask you uh, if you can allow the program to run the computer uh, if your computer uh, should run the installation uh, then when you uh, find that page you just click yes then uh, the next page you, you, you just click next uh, then next uh, uh, then uh, uh, the last page uh, you click on finish after that you will find your uh, device uh, installed uh, then uh, you should restart the PC, the computer, unless uh, your uh, your computer uh, is restarted, the application or the uh, device will not work or will not appear here. You cannot find it here unless you restart your PC. So then the the uh, last step is to restart your PC then after you start your PC you will find the device here uh, then you can go from here you can adjust it like the the, the, the previous uh, procedure uh, you go to level you can you can adjust here 
make sure that this this one is active you just go here then you click on the first uh, option uh, not this one disable it will disable it will make the uh, device disabled automatically uh, you don't click this one uh, then after adjusting this uh, one you can uh, have your uh, audio driver or, or, or device uh, installed and it will uh, work you can use it so by doing so you can uh, fix your uh, audio device uh, problem uh, if you guys enjoyed uh, our video you can like subscribe or share with your friends uh, f f for you I mean to to follow up uh, our next uh, videos uh, you can subscribe the channel and see you on our next video uh, have a good one thanks bye